God bless um, those who are watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda and I'm here to share my testimony of my financial miracle. God answer my prayer. God is so good. He is so wonderful. I just want to declare his good works and testify of the good things that he is doing in my life. I am a single mother of two boys, but I'm not alone because the Lord has been with me and he has never left me. He will never leave me or forsake me. So um, in November, I was supposed to have my to uh, my one year review in the company that I'm currently in, in 2021. So we changed company. So a company bought out the company that I'm in. And so there was a transition, but I was due for a raise, you know, that month of November. So when I was, uh, had a meeting with the VIP, v VP, um, we spoke privately because she made it seem that it was going to take maybe a year for me to get that raise because of the transition. But I was like, but I waited a whole year, you know. Um, she was like, we'll talk after this meeting because there was people in the meeting. And so when I left, I said, God, you are in control. I'm not going to worry about it. It's in your hands confidently just left it in the hands of God she calls me afterwards and she she said like hey how much do experience do you have tell me a little bit about yourself so I told her my experience and she's like okay this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and give you a two dollar increase is that a, um would that be okay I'm like <laughs> um, um yeah. I, I almost stuttered tell you the truth um I was like yes yes I agree verbally agree to us and so all right she said all right well give me some time and you know we'll go ahead and set this up so when she hung up I was like wow God you are so amazing because I did ask the Lord I prayed and asked God that I would like a two dollar increase and in a way, I thought it would be kind of impossible because I already got a $2 increase when I had my 90-day review. <laughs> so I'm like, what are the, what, you cannot get $4 in one year, right? But I left it in the hands of God and knowing that He can do it. God can do, He can do the impossible, right? So then it comes that I never got, I never, I didn't get the raise. You know, it kind of made it seem like um, she had to go, she had to do a review of my work. And so it just seemed like what she said, what she promised me, kind of seemed to me like she kind of like not changed her mind. Maybe I took it that way. Maybe I took it that she was going to change her mind because of what, she, you know, she wrote in the text message. So I got a little worried. I did because I'm like, wait. But God, you know, this is this is my blessing. I, I you know, I, I I took it as my blessing. I I just I was kind of sad. I I I was, you know, not sad, but just um a little worried that I was not gonna get that raise. So um nothing. I will I will ask her like an update and nothing. She said. It's gonna take some time she don't know when but it was, it's gonna take some time so in December 1st I decided to put this request in my prayer jar my prayer jar I have a prayer jar and I put my petitions in there and so I decided to put it in there I'm like God I'm not gonna cuz I start to worry it's like oh you're not gonna get it you're, you know you got excited for nothing you got excited for no reason and I'm like no God I'm not gonna worry about this your scripture says, you know, in Ephesians, Ephesians 6, 18, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind, be alert and always keep praying for all the Lord's people. So I took this prayer request, this petition up to the Lord and I put it in my jar and I put specifically, you know, touch her heart, Father God, remind her that don't let her forget me. 
put her in put her if she put her in my in her mind you know put her um about my raise in her mind that she doesn't forget me i put that in december 1st and i put it in my jar and so throughout that that time you know i waited there, there were times when i was reminded of it you know oh you know she hasn't responded she hasn't said anything it's gonna take forever it may take a year like she said in the first and i was i was kind of worried but i was like no i left it in the hands of the lord i put it in my prayer jar and i i believed that he's going to do it and i had also excuse me <clears throat> I, I had also someone else help me pray for this um my sister um a sister in christ there was people helping me with this prayer request so we know that two is better than one and, and, and if two people come in agreement the lord will heal hears as the scripture says you know so i knew that the lord would answer my prayer it was just all a matter in his time and so um monday which was i believe december i mean december okay. <laughs> january 10th so i'm in the kitchen cooking for my children and around three i got a text saying hey linda congrats i approved not congrats she said happy new year in my head i i, I read congrats <laughs> she was like um happy new year i approved your two dollar rates and i was like oh my god i screamed no i went ah! <laughs> and i dropped my phone i was like and i cried i i went straight to the prayer closet i went straight to my closet and i said god 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 thank you thank you thank you it's it, thank you i just all i can say is was thank you as i shed tears i remember that sunday when i was in church and or friday and someone shared their miracle their financial miracle because they have been sowing they have been planting um giving to the need you know and investing in the in the things of the church and i said lord you know i've been and i'm planting seeds i've been helping the poor i've been helping um some the ministries and and and, and things like that where's my miracle right because we know that when you give to the need when you give to the poor they the Lord, there's rewards for you. And I was just like, God, where's mine? You know, like, hello. <laughs> Did you forget about me? You know, Did you like, um, hello, it's me, Linda again. You know, I had to remind the Lord just in case he forgot. And so, um, I was like, kind of like, n not discouraged. Cause I'm like, I know my time will come because your word is true. And I believe in you. So I cried in, in the presence of God and, and, he did it he made the way god is a god of promises and there are certain times there are appointed times that these miracles will manifest you know as a single mom you know with two kids we see how the rent and everything is going up the food the rent so sometimes i i, I can get a little worried about it um and so god is like don't worry um don't be dismayed i am with you i will never leave you and that is a breakthrough for me and my life and my kids in this home and i just have to give god all the glory and all the praise those who are waiting on their financial miracle do not be dismayed do not um doubt doubting god doesn't like when we doubt he wants us to believe even if it's a uh, tiny a small seed of a mustard you know tiny as his mustard seed he wants us to believe in his word and stand on that promise that god can make a way and so i believed i said lord you're going to do it break i started declaring praying in my prayer closet i declare breakthrough i declare a financial miracles father god you're going to make a way you're going to do it do not be dismayed if the lord doesn't do it right away but have that faith that the Lord can turn around your situation. Have faith that the Lord can do it. Sometimes when we come to God with our prayer, our petitions, they're gonna sometimes they're gonna be a no. Or sometimes it's because God has better for us. So just trust the process and allow God to lead you, allow him to mold you, allow him, you know, to do it how he wants to do it. Don't be discouraged, keep the faith. Put your hope in God because the scripture says those who put their hope in God would never be put to shame. 
would never be you would God would never embarrass you. You may look crazy to some, but God will never embarrass you. Keep your head up. God did it for me. God can do it for you. God made a way for me. He can make a way for you. I'm just blown away about God's goodness. He is good, guys. Those who don't know of the Lord taste and see how good God is. He is so good. He is so loving. He is so merciful. He is so kind. And he takes care of his people. He he is not like men. He will never leave us. He will never belittle us, put us down. He always we can rest assured in God that He was keep us safe and guide us. And I give God all the glory and thanks. God did it. God did it. Won't he do it? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness? <laughs> so God bless my brothers, sisters. Just keep believing in the Lord and know that God can do it for you as well. And go ahead. And, and one thing I want to say as well before I leave. If you, whatever problem arises, whatever bad news you get, take it straight to God. Don't call your brother. Don't call your mother. Don't call your sister. Take it straight to the Lord. And, and take that request, take that um, bad news, take that phone call, whatever, that letter, and take it straight to God and leave it in his hands because he will take care of it. God bless.